welcome back to my channel i'm so happy that you're here and i'm so excited about today's video it's gonna be so much fun as you can probably see from the title we are going to be talking about bookstagram today and i'm so excited so i did a little question box a few days ago on my instagram asking if anybody had any requests for video ideas on my youtube channel like book videos and i had a couple people request a like book photo behind the scenes and then i had someone <clears throat> excuse me i had someone request book photography tutorials and then i posted on my story like the response and asked if people would want to see that and they said yes it's very like majority voted that they wanted to see that so that's what we're gonna be doing today i am so excited i've been planning and like brainstorming this video because i want it to be very helpful i do want to say that truly instagram doesn't matter in the big scheme of things but personally i am a photographer so i do weddings and couples and families and all that stuff in general like that's my job is photography so that kind of streams into everything else i do like for my main instagram i love taking photos of things and having photos taken of me and it has translated into my bookstagram i think that has like obviously helped in the photo taking area of bookstagram because i do photography and i just have like an eye for that so i truly see my bookstagram as a creative outlet for me i find it so much fun and i don't want you to think that you have to do this in order to have a bookstagram or if you have a bookstagram you have to do this that is not at all what i'm saying i just want to help you if you are wanting to make your bookstagram better if you're wanting to create more content or just kind of like create an aesthetic for your bookstagram i want to give you tips on that and just taking up bookstagram photos all that good stuff i'm sharing it but i just want to say like a disclaimer that instagram is not everything but i just love creating content and i love being creative and this is one way that i'm able to do that and i'm so thankful that people are like following along and wanting to see it and wanting tutorials of how i do it that's literally insane to me the fact that you love my content so much that you want to know how i do it that is just crazy so Basically, I'm going to try to section this video off and put timestamps if you have something specific you're wanting to see. So first, I'm going to basically give you the behind the scenes of me taking Instagram photos for my bookstagram. I'm going to show you how I get inspo, where I get inspo, me taking the photo, like what inspires me, how I take the photo, and then how I edit the photo, and then the planning app I use, and then posting on Instagram. The whole process I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the next week, me creating content for my bookstagram, kind of the ideas that I have, what I like to post, how I like to take the photos, all that stuff. I'm going to try to give tips on how I take the photos as well. And then I want to kind of talk about the hashtags and things that I put on my bookstagram to help growth. Obviously, it's not about growing, but if you want to create a bookstagram and you want to create a community, there is ways to help you grow in that area or just creating a community in general because I feel like, honestly, bookstagram is truly just a community. I honestly, it's insane that I've grown the way I have and it's truly just by making friends on the app and on bookstagram and like having a community of people that you talk to and engage with. And then I want to share my favorite bookstagram accounts and I'm going to like put their ads below or like link them or whatever because I have so many people that I follow that I love their content so much and that they just deserve more followers and you should follow them. So I'm going to tell you that as well. Basically, first, whenever I'm like taking photos from a bookstagram, I try or I've started to try to batch content. So if I have like an hour or two in an afternoon or in a day, I try to take a bunch of content at once. So I have quite a few photos to post over the next couple weeks. I've just started doing that. I feel like normally I don't really do that, but I'm trying to do that because it makes it a lot easier to have like five posts that you have ready to go. Honestly, just by following people on bookstagram, things that I'm thinking about books I'm reading that will really dictate what I post. So I like to post book reviews. So I just finished reading Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan and I loved it so much. So I want to do a review of this book on my page. And then I also was inspired because I did this like four thing like four book post a few months back of my favorite books of the year and I wanted to do four more of those so I have four more books that are my faves of the year and I want to do like a little like the four of them like stacked I feel like I've kind of unintentionally created like a aesthetic of throwing books on my bed and taking a picture not that I created that but like I feel like on my feed if you follow me you can like see where like I take a photo of like four books and then I take a photo of a bunch of books and it's kind of the same vibe and so I've kind of done that so I'm kind of trying to continue doing that in the same vein and then I also like to take mirror selfies I specifically like to do this for my monthly wrap-ups I like incorporating me in the feed because I feel like it kind of breaks it up so it's not a bunch of books it's like you also see me I like to have a balance of my photos but some people 
post on their bookstagram and they don't post their face or they post like maybe they're like front holding a book and not showing their face but i will take mirror selfies and stuff like that or i will get ethan to take pictures of me i think he's going to take a picture of me right now because i want to post a picture of me to like break up my feed before i post more book photos but honestly i don't really take photos of me on a tripod because I always feel like I look so awkward and the angle is just weird. I would rather my husband take the photos and he's gotten just really good at taking photos of me. So we'll have him take the photos if it's of me, if it's not a mirror selfie, like it's at a coffee shop or something like that. Or if I'm holding a book, anything like that, he will take the picture of me. I have this tripod and I have a iPhone attachment and so I'll put that on there. But it just gets a little weird, like it just looks really awkward. And I just don't really like it. So I like to have someone take the photo of me. But if you don't, I know a lot of people that use tripods. For ideas of how I'm going to take the photos, I will go on Instagram. I have a ton of photos saved. And I have like a fall book lover highlight. Or not highlight, like saved folder for photos of like folly kind of vibes that I want to take but honestly i'll like scroll through them and i get some inspo but sometimes i'll just like use whatever i have in my house i don't really take many photos outside of my house i took one at the pumpkin patch and i took one at a coffee shop but most of the time it's in my house so my aesthetic of my house translates to the aesthetic on my instagram because obviously this is the house that i live in so these are the colors this is kind of the tones that you're going to get on my instagram because i'm taking them in my house i also try now since it's fall try to take some outside with the leaves and with pumpkins and like darker things because i'm trying to like make it fall you know what i mean but when christmas rolls around i will try to incorporate like the christmas tree and reds and greens and things like that but overall i will use kind of the same like aesthetic the same way i take the photos i follow so many like cute instagrammers i'm obsessed with them they post such cute things and i get so much inspo from them so i will do that and then i will take the photos so a lot of times if i'm just taking a photo of a book i will use my bed and i have like this barefoot dreams blanket and my comforter and this other like, comforter and i will just set it there and take a photo and one tip that i have is to like angle the phone up or angle it like this just the angle of the photo really changes how the photo is going to look so as you can see probably from the clips like if the book is like this i'm trying to angle it with the book and not like this, you know what I mean? I'm trying to keep it at a good angle. And also when I have like the four book stacks sitting there, I want to be above it because if you're like at an angle, it kind of just looks weird. So I try to be like straight above the photos so I can get just like a flat lay, you know what I mean? I do take some photos with my Kindle. Like if I read an arc or I read a book on my Kindle that I don't own and want to take a picture of and I will edit the cover onto my Kindle. I use Photoshop, but I know there's an app you can use for this, but I just couldn't figure it out. And I have like a semi-knowledge of Photoshop in order to do that. So I just edit on Photoshop and I will also show you me doing that. After I like take the photos, I will go through all of them and like hard my favorite ones. And then I'll import them into Lightroom. So I use JC Marie's presets. I'm pretty sure she doesn't sell them anymore. My vibe is more like warm pinky tones. So I'll use the same preset on every single photo that I post which I think creates an aesthetic on your feet if you use the same preset. So I use those. I've been using those for literally years. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I will use. And I will put the filter on there and then I will turn down the grain, turn up the brightness. Depending on the photo, I will change the saturation and the tones of the colors. So specifically on this photo that I took, when there's a book that has grains in it, this preset specifically, it will take the saturation down of the grains and take the luminance up of the grains. So the book doesn't look as vibrant. So I like to up the saturation and down the luminance. So the grains pop a little more. So I like kind of a tweak the preset a little bit to my own liking and then I will export it. I like to crop it pretty much always to be centered. I like to straighten it because I'm just annoying about that. I'm a perfectionist so I like everything to be straight. I tried to kind of change up the angles and the vibes so I took this one of like my tabs. I think it's cute and then it's time to plan my feed. I am so annoying with my feed so I do plan it. I use honestly I literally don't know what this app is called to be honest. I don't know. I'll put the app logo right here but basically it's just an app that plans your feed for you so whenever i have photos that i want to post i will import them into here and see how they look obviously it does not matter how they look but for me i like to look at it just so i can see my feed how it's going to look in general and also like don't want there to be like two book posts next to each other that look the same or two photos of me next to each other that look the same or above each other that look the same you know i just don't really want that because i feel like it just doesn't look good in my opinion but that's just me like obviously you do not have to be as annoying about this as I am, but a lot of people, it's very trendy right now to be like underexposed, which I love that vibe. It's not my vibe, but I love that vibe. 
and I think, I don't know if they actually edit those photos or if they just really like take the photo and underexpose them on the camera app, but you can totally do that. Just find your own style and do it because I feel like that's the beauty of Bookstream. I follow so many different like people that have different aesthetics, very opposite of me. Like my friend Paige, she is the complete opposite of me, like darker, moodier, and I love it so much. It's so fun, but it's just different than me and I love that. So I'm telling you how I do it, but obviously you do not have to do it this way. I'm just trying to give you tips and like just tell you how I do it. So. I will use this app to show me what it looks like and then after that I will post it on my Instagram. <laughs> I like to draft my posts and like fix them. Sometimes I'm just super annoying and it will take me forever but specifically for posts like this with just a um, review I like to have a few different posts of the book like a few different pictures of the book and then maybe a quote or two from the book. And I personally, this is just what I do, I try not to have the quote be a spoiler because I mean, you can definitely do that and put in the caption that's a spoiler, but I just try not to do spoilers because I'm a person that's going to scroll and then I'm like, oh, it's a spoiler. Or I see if it's a spoiler and I'm like, oh, well, I don't care. I'm just going to scroll anyway. So I just try to not do a spoiler in my reviews because, or in my photos, because I feel like people are going to scroll anyways, you know, which isn't my fault, but like, you know. So that's the whole process. I'm going to give you more tips as I go along because I'm going to take more photos. Honestly, my best advice is to go on people's accounts, look at their posts and look at the hashtags they use for different things that they're posting, like book reviews or book stacks or things like that and copy their hashtags because I do that. It's very easy and it's like, I feel like those hashtags are things that people search for. And if you have a book specifically in your um, post, hashtag that book and hashtag the author because that's how people find it. Like I will literally search a hashtag like hashtag Archer Joyce on Instagram all the time and just look through reviews. Like people just search those hashtags because they want to see a review and that's how you can easily be found on Instagram. So also I do post reels sometimes, but I found more growth in my photos than in my reels, which I feel like most people say reels help you grow the most. But for me, they just don't perform as well as my posts, as some of my posts. Like I feel like the ones that I take of like a bunch of books, like fall book recommendations or like closed door book recommendations, things like that, that are like recommendation specific, do well as a photo. And then people post them on their stories and then they just like, you know, get on the explore page and things like that. Reels, I feel like it's kind of hard. Like sometimes they will like perform well, sometimes they won't, it just really depends. So I don't post as many reels as photos. And also I just love creating photos more than video even though i make youtube videos i like long form content more than short form content in video form because it's just i just have more fun with it i talk more and it's so much easier i feel like to edit like a video like this and like a like straight up video and if i'm taking a reel or like let's say i do an unboxing like i will feel myself opening a package i just did this recently for a reel i will literally put that clip on final cut pro and we'll edit it so it's just a long process for a reel like i won't cut it on the reel i will literally like put it in my editing software and edit it that way so it's just a long process that's unnecessary so that's just me i should probably shouldn't do that but it's just easiest because i know final cut pro it's easier to cut through i can export it send it to my phone and then i just add the music so it's easier that way but i just prefer taking photos and i like my feed i like working with my feed seeing how it's gonna look but that is kind of my process I'm going to just take you along for the next few days of any photos that I take to show you behind the scenes and then I will at the end share my favorite bookstagram accounts because I love bookstagram and I have just a ton and I'll link their profiles below. Hello guys, it has been a couple days, actually more than a couple days, it is currently Wednesday of the next week. I have posted a couple things on my bookstagram since I last filmed and I forgot to take behind the scenes. I posted the one that Ethan took of me and then I actually did a photo dump from October yesterday. I think I've done one other photo dump but I don't usually do them for the month but I really wanted to post some like fun photos. I love when people post on their Instagram like a photo dump and then in the photo dump is quotes from books they've read. I love that so much. Steph Bower does it all the time and I love her photo dumps. So I just posted a bunch of photos that I hadn't posted on my bookstagram. And then today I just posted my October wrap up and I forgot to film the behind the scenes. But basically I did a mirror selfie of the books that I read this month and it was quite difficult because I had nine physical books. So it was quite heavy to carry. So instead of doing it in my hand like I normally do, 
I had to like hold it with my arm, but I forgot to film it, but basically it was just me taking our selfies. Not very exciting, but I did wanna say that I will put the picture right here. One tip that I wanted to give is that when I'm taking these photos, I do think about things down to like what I'm wearing. So when I filmed my October wrap up, my YouTube video, I was wearing this like green sweatshirt because that's what I wore during the day. That's what I wore yesterday. And then I was looking at my feet and thinking like, I feel like the green is just not really gonna go with the vibe that we're trying to have here. So I changed into this like reddish orange sweater and it definitely makes like, it brings browns and like darker tones into the feed. And when you go down like past photos on my feed, you can see that I wore like bright colors and pastels and stuff. And that kind of brings in the springy summery color vibe that I was going for, but now we're trying to get the fall vibes. So I kind of got like reds and browns of my sweater that goes into my feed because of just the sweater I was wearing. So I posted that. And then I wanted to do a little tutorial, kind of hopefully, of me editing a cover onto a Kindle photo. So I'm going to go on Photoshop. I'm gonna to try to screen record my computer. I actually tried to screen record my, um, where is Photoshop? Oh no. Well, I might have to download it because I thought I had it on my computer. I'm gonna to have to install Photoshop. Lovely. But I tried to film a screen recording of me editing a photo on my phone and I literally didn't, I don't know what happened. I guess it screen recorded after I finished editing it. I don't really know, but basically I wasn't able to do that, but I'm gonna try to show you a tutorial of me putting a cover onto a photo, but I'm gonna have to wait on this to install. So pull that thought. Alrighty, so it is downloaded and I need to record my screen. I think it's doing it. Alrighty. So I have Photoshop here and I'm going to open a file and I'm going to get it off my computer. And then my computer takes forever. I'm gonna go to my iCloud drive. I have so many random photos in here and I'm gonna get the photo of the Kindle. I usually take the photo of like the cover, but I don't think there is a cover on this Kindle, on this arc that I read. So I just literally took a picture of my Kindle, which is this random cover. Don't know. Whatever was on my screen at the time. And then I'm going to go to Finder. And then I'm going to go to Downloads. And get the screenshot of the cover. Which was same time next summer. And then I'm going to drag it onto the screen. It's very small. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So I'm going to have to figure out what the keys were. Because I can't remember. I'm going to use, I think, sh Command Shift. Maybe it's just the Shift button. Yeah. Just the shift key and I'm going to kind of scooch the cover over to the sides a little bit. And then you use shift command and it is going to get the corners of the cover to where you can like edit the corners, if that makes any sense whatsoever. And this is honestly very much trial and error. It takes me a few tries sometimes to get this right to perfectly fit on the cover. You don't have to do this if you don't want to do this. I'm just a little extra. So the thing about this though is once you hit enter, you can't go back and like tweak it. You literally have to start over from the beginning. So you can like move it up and down or side to side, at least from what I have like tried to figure out, I can't figure out a way to make it to where you can like tweak it. So I have to start over basically. So I try to make sure it's like how I want it before I hit enter. And I'm such a perfectionist, like you probably, it probably will be fine, but we shall see. So we're gonna hit enter. And it's a little off. I can tell it's a little bit off. I'm gonna try to scooch it over. Shoot. Yeah, this probably looks honestly great, but I can see the black underneath the Kindle and it bothers me. So I'm gonna have to start over. So this is just really trial and error. So I will be back once I finish. Okay, so I think I finished it, but it's still like, I'm not sure. So I might end up going back and doing it again. But that's kind of like, how I do it. I don't know if I'm gonna post this review now or I might wait a little bit. I'm not sure because it is like pretty springy colors or like summery colors. So I don't really know if I'm gonna post it right now, but that's just kind of how I do the Photoshop situation. But now I am going to tell you my favorite bookstore accounts because I think I've shown you and told you everything that I wanted to. So let's do it. I'm so excited. I follow so many great people. I'm truly just gonna go through my following and tell you because I have so many people I love. A lot of them I do, I am friends with, but some of them I just 
of her content. So first one is my friend Paige, of course. Her at is PT Sun Girl, and she is like dark and moody, and she has pictures with her cat, like in her book photos. And she reads like kind of different books than me. She reads like fantasy. Well, I've started reading fantasy, but she reads like more fantasy than me. And she loves Noah Roberts and she's just great. I love her content. So also follow Cleopatra at Margot. She's actually a indie author. So if you want some behind the scenes on what it's like to be an indie author, you should follow her. And she has just really cute content as well, like kind of brown nude. I also love Library by Emily. She is a friend as well. And she just has really fun photos. She has a bunch of bright colors and I love that she's able to keep up with the bright colors even in the fall. Like she is just great. I love her. I also love Bookish Brittany. Her feet is so cute. It's like white with like pops of color. It's just so cute. Love that. Booked and starred. I love her content and she's just so nice. I've been friends with her for probably since I started my bookstagram. Her name is Cianne and she just has great reviews and I love her book recs. And then also Gabby's a bookshelf. She has such cute content and she's so nice. Lauren's library card, I talked about her. I got my bookmarks from her. You should follow her. She has great content in general, as well as great bookmarks that you can buy. Haley Ray Reads, I love her content so much. It's like brown and neutrals and like warm tones and it's so cute. Also lovely compositions. I love, love, love her content. She's so cute. I'm just saying the same things. She's great. Karma Reads, I really like her as well. Such cute photos and she's just great. I love Ceres, I think, I'm not really how, sure how you say her name, but it's Ceres Reading Journal. She has such cute content as well and she's literally stunning, like what the heck. She's adorable and she just started a YouTube channel, so I'll link it below. Reads with Reagan, I love her, I'm obsessed with her content. It's so, so cute and very unique and she's just so creative and fun and I love her. I think we're going to try to do something fun together, bookish related, so she's so sweet. Also book loving Taylor, I am friends with her and she's so cute and her content is so great as well. Of course, Rach Reads, Rachel Catherine on YouTube, she posts really cute book content and I love her. Reading with Kaylee, I'm basically just telling you all my friends, but she has really fun like kind of darker vibes and she's just had a ton of Halloween content and I just love her. Tim's Reads, her name is Emily and she is such cute photos obsessed. Also Kirsten's bookshelf. I love her content. She posts the cutest stuff. Also Mads for books. She has the cutest content and she's also hilarious. Like if you watch her Instagram stories, she's just so funny. She loves reading and she loves Taylor Swift. So big fan of her. Oh my goodness. This one is one of my favorites literally ever. I'm obsessed with her. Her name or her at is Little Private Library. She's literally so, so cute. Also, I'm going to probably, you probably already know this by now. I'm going to put their like screen or like their feed on the screen for you so you can see, but I love her account and she's so cute and so fun. And she just created her account like recently, like a month ago, love her. From the library of Joanna, she has such cute photos, like literally so fun. Like these are just such good aesthetics. If you were looking for some cute aesthetic people to follow, you should follow all of these that I'm saying. <laughs> also read with Georgia. I think she also has a YouTube channel, so I'll link it below, but she is just so cute. I love her content. Booked with Taylor. She is such cute content as well. I love her vibe. Trying to share like people that don't really have as many followers because I love that. Or compared to like other people because some people have like 50K on bookstagrams. Also really like Come Read with Cass. She is so cute and has such cute book photos, obviously. Kate's bookcase is really cute. She has like 19K, so she's not really small, but she has literally the cutest fall content, so you should follow her. I love also another kind of bigger bookstagrammer is The Lit Homebody. She is the cutest content. Abigail's Cup of Tea, oh my goodness. Abigail's Cup of Tea is one of my favorites, literally ever. She's the best, love her content. It's so cute and she just seems like the sweetest. Also really love Court Reads. She has such cute photos. Like she's just so creative, I love that. Lauren's Reading Corner, she's friends with Sarah Caroli, so you've probably seen her content, but she literally has the cutest book content. I'm obsessed with her. Michelle Reads Books, she's also like a huge booktuber or bookstagrammer, 41.6K, but love her content. Rachel turns the page. She is like 60K, but she is just the greatest content. Like very helpful, a lot of book recs, super fun. Love watching her stories. Another new like follow is Allie Renee Reads. I'm actually friends with her. And well, I'm not friends with her in real life, but like I've become friends with her through Bookstagram and she also has a YouTube channel. So, so cute. I love her. She's the cutest content and she's so funny. So you should go follow her 
and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, so I think that is all of my favorite books. I feel like I said so many, but they're all so cute. So I'm excited to talk about them and post them on the side over here. But I think that is going to be it for this video. I feel like I have said everything I want to say and I've kind of I feel like I've done a variety of the kind of posts that I do on my Instagram, so I hope this was helpful. I am so thankful for all of you, and I'm so thankful that you're here and want to watch this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions or anything else that you want me to cover that I didn't cover in this video, let me know. I would love to hear it. But thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe. I post every Tuesday and Saturday here on YouTube, and I also have an Instagram, and obviously a bookstagram if you want to go follow it. If you're just finding this on Instagram and you don't follow me on bookstagram, you should do that. It's a great time. But I think that's it, and I'll see you very soon for my next video. Bye.